Okay, time for another sardine review. And today we're going to go with probably top of the line, high dollar sardines. It's King Oscar Wild Sardines. And I'll read the label. King Oscar, by special royal permission, wild caught sardines. And there's two types. I got the one Mediterranean style. Extra virgin olive oil and herbs. Now, I had some of these. Finest bristling sardines, one layer, 8 to 12 fish. Now, I was told in several comments that you can tell the quality of the sardines by the smaller they are and the more fish, the better the quality of the sardine. Because most of our Chinese ones, or even the product of Poland, there's, well, the product of Poland had about four or five fish. The Chinese one only had four large fish. But this tells you right on there, eight to 12 fish. I think I was getting like eight in the uh, product of Poland. Sea Cliff, I think, one or Beach Cliff. And on the back of the cellophane packet, uh, has a nice little picture. And see what it says there. Lightly wood smoked, hand packed for generations, a Norwegian tradition since 1902. The best for you. And it has a thing of the ingredients distributed by Union Sea Foods of San Diego, California, packed in Poland. And it has all the nutritional facts on there. Well, all that's fine and dandy. Time to unwrap it. And the tin looks about the same, but there's no label on the tin. Open her up. Damn hand. Oh yeah. Make sure the herbs stay in there. If you see the herbs are stuck to the lid. That's what gives it a taste. Oh, I believe there's... Oh, this is going to be good. Take a look at what we ended up with here. We'll get a close up on the sardine. Okay, as we can see, this is quite different. We have black olives wedged in there. The herbs, which I kind of tried to scrape them all back. This is a damn gourmet meal in a can. I like it. Our saltine crackers. One fish and the fish are in pretty good shape, they're not all tore to hell and screwed up like the other ones. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Mm. Yeah, see, once you get one unpacked, they come out of there fairly easily. That's tasty. It does have the smoke flavor and the herbs in that and the sauce. Really good. Delicious. It's a meal. Mm. And the oil is pretty thick, so, I mean, I, I really like these, I enjoy them. Looks like the raccoons ain't going to get nothing today. <laughs> They do cost more, 
these are like three dollars and eighty cents a can but it's kind of well worth it I mean it is tasty it is good that's what I remember sardines when I was a kid were like this I don't know where they came from or whatever or what brand they were but yeah Hmm. Well, it's not super hot out here today. It was yesterday. Got a little bit of a breeze, so it's pretty comfortable just sitting out here. And, like I said, these are good. These are real good. <coughs> it's not a bad little light lunch. On a hot day. Mm. Yep. That's pretty good. You know, stringy. That they have the heads removed. Covered in spice and that. Delicious. I've had four or five people tell me, you know, to go with the King Oscar sardines and they are they are quite good. I mean, you got something that isn't all <coughs> damaged and in the process and there's a little bit more care. Well, that's why they cost three times more. You know. The oil is nice on there. I like it. Mm -hmm. I really don't know. If there's any? I got uh, another brand up that uh, I can try, but actually, I really don't know if there's many more brands left to sample. Actually, how many different people actually produce canned sardines that you can find around here? Um, <clears throat> I may have to go to the you know world grocery stores or specialty stores to see if they got something. But other than uh, well, well, like Starkist that we looked at. Which is basically just a label on the same stuff, like this beach clip. Um, you know, and there's two types of the King Oscar, and I think bumblebee sardines. They come in a in a cardboard uh, little carton over the tin. That's what's going to be next. Hmm. Very good. And I don't know if we can really go on with anything else. Uh, a sample. Oh yeah. But yeah, out of all the ones we tried, these are the best. I think they got another version. Maybe I'll get it and see if I like this better than that one.
or at least in the store I went to, they got two versions of the King Aster. And <clears throat> like I said, the Bumblebee. So I might have to look around and see if there's any different types or brands to try out, but this is the best. And like I said, they're they're three dollars and eighty cents a, a packet or, or tin is compared to a dollar to the other ones. But you know, you get what you pay for. And look, nothing left for the raccoons. So I hope you had fun with this. I did. And Actually, not a bad little treat, so stay tuned.